Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Brag, yeah? Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, Brag. Still cranking away at XC Cup Festival, whatever it is. Oh like, yeah, it's still going at the moment. It's it? such a punish. <laughs> like. <laughs> I it's, just You said that completely. so metal. It's such a punish. It. Oh. These Labyrinth matches, just. Oh. What do you mean? Okay. Labyrinth, that famous Xyz deck. Makes trains. I think. Oh, if they made trains, it would be sick, but no, they just do their normal shit. It's, it's not unbeatable, it's just every match. I'm like, oh, I was kind of enjoying. Oh, versus Zodiac. That was great. <laughs> I put this in almost every, like, little survey that they do after these cups. Yeah. Please make them more restrictive so you have to play within the type. Yeah. Doesn't happen, and it seems to be the it's Labyrinth right. almost exclusively now that's the exception. Like, I'm playing cash with Snake Eyes. I'm also a problem, but I'm not a Labyrinth problem, where it's a full deck. Mine is just... Oh, it's atrocious. It's, where it's like, oh, well, I mean, bounce that attack the game because, yeah, nothing can stop um, Flame Burge. Putting uh, stuff back? Yeah. yeah. It's just amazing. So, yeah. So just tell your opponent that when you put back an XCs, the materials go with it. Just load the up the materials don't yeah. exist. Loads up all back row as continuous spells and they can't play. Yeah. That's exactly how it works. Exactly how it works. Then you cash here and lock the monsters in. Mm. Maybe that's how they make Exodia good. They make an Xyz with all of the pieces, even though I'm pretty sure heads are a different level to the rest of them, mm -hmm. and then put them back in the back row and then somehow bounce them all back to hand. Yeah. I think the new stuff does that. Yeah, isn't that, that's what Yeah, it's literally awesome. what the new stuff does. Yeah, but it's fusions. Bad. Mm. Okay. Uh, then on normal ladder, just the Monica stuff. Really need the Fiendsmith stuff with it. And that's the same with real life, but there's different reasons why I don't have it there. You're going to be a while off it. No, even just the, just the track. I'm going to start with the tracks. Like, they, they'd probably be enough to make the deck shuffle along a bit. Because as soon as you get the Fiendsmith stuff, but, and that's my problem, as soon as I get the Fiendsmith stuff, I'll be like, oh, I've got Snake Eyes. I'm just going back to play Fiendsmith man, Snake Eyes. So, just tracks, and then search. Just tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Such as a fiend. No, no, not that much, are they? Oh, track second effect came up huge today. I was like, oh. but the fusion summon. Yep. Yeah. They're only fifty bucks though, right? Tracks. Yeah. Not even that. You have to get them though. Yeah, Harry's got a million of them. Does he? Yeah. I also have spares if you want to borrow. Yeah. Like I only need to play one. I have three. Yeah. Well, I'm playing three. Oh, okay. No, that I can't help you with three. I can help you with two. Yeah. Not three. It's better than none. Is a fusion summon a fiend or just fusion summon? Fusion summons using fiends from hand. Yeah, that's boring. I'm looking for the search. Yeah. And the discard. For the search. A fusion summon. Light fiends. Who would have thought they would be useful? Also, I forgot that Exiton could be used, could have been a closed moon, heaven, whatever. Mm. Never really occurred to me that. The original light fiend. Yeah. I just was like, oh, that's right. So any rank four can also go off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before we got the goddess thing, I was very much like, Fuck, it's not out. Fuck, it's not the set. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Exit on that. Exit on that. Exit oh, okay, on that. yeah, yeah. But then you have to have level fours, which is irritating. Excuse me, I activated my ostinata. Anyway. True. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just tired of fucking ostinato. <sighs> Do you reckon that... We'll, we'll, when we get to Banlist Talk, we'll talk about that eventually. Which I don't think is today, is it? No, no we're, we're, we're not doing Banlist Talk till mid next month because yeah, it's now, not coming now for another we, month. Now that we know. We've got three weeks though. Mid yeah, next month. Oh! Do we do birthdays at the top or at the bottom? Top of the hour. What's right. happening? Uh, happy birthday to uh, team member Seb, uh, almost team member Jesse, and uh, the podcast. Yes. It's our, what, 10? 10? Eight? No, 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 the pod's younger. By what, pod was 2016. Eight. Okay, so we're eight years old. Well, no, the, yeah, the pod's eight years old, the team is nine. Nine, so we're nine Because we old. did this as just random couch talks. It's very grainy footage. I've seen the footage. It's if very not, grainy. <laughs> if enough people join our Patreon, you might get to see it. Before yeah, lots. it's only on the Patreon. Definitely not pre-existing on YouTube if you look hard enough for it. Mm -mm. No. Most of it's hidden. I'm not there, so it's Most. fine. 
Yeah, Ben's off. I don't even remember what you're doing at that point. 2016 was when I was like fucking showing up to locals playing literally starter deck. Yeah, but not our locals. No, I showed up to our locals. Here's my starter deck. Yeah. Sorry, I was showing up to <laughs> good games playing st- structured decks. With too many copies of Bottomless Chapel. I don't remember how I got back into the game. Like, I don't know how I thought to go to Nara. Because I think it was because I was driving trucks at the time. And I just... One late bought... night, your truck broke down in front of a store and you went in to see yeah, if you but... could borrow their phone. Because, you know, mobiles aren't a thing in Nara. And then you saw them playing a game that you used to love and you were inspired. I think... It kind of is, is close to that. Where like yes. I had bought like a dark, Ben Law. Yes. I had bought a Dark Magician online because I was like, I just want a Dark Magician. Mm. And then that spiraled to where can I buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And it was like Nara. And because I used to drive the long hauls, there was one night where I had, I had to go an extra shift. So like I'd normally come home on the Wednesday, and instead that night I couldn't get out on the Wednesday because I didn't finish till like one a.m. So then I stayed in Bateman's Bay and then did a morning run and then was like coming through at like four or five o'clock in the afternoon and I was like, oh, this place says it's open till nine. Mm. I'll go in. And I went in and they were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm going to come back here. Who would have, yeah, I never would have connected the mm. truck driving to that. Mm. That's how I got back Can't into Can't find locals in Bateman's Bay. Well, there's some. I used to buy the packs from the Kmart of Bateman's Bay because I'd be based out of Bateman's Bay when I was doing long hauls. See, I used to buy from the Stockland in, um, well, the Kmart in Stockland in Nara. So that was my main car purchasing place. I used to go to the Kmart at Bateman's Bay, used to have Amiibos. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They'd yeah, always yeah. be on clearance. So, like, they used to sell fucking Super Mario, like Mario Racing Wii for, like, it was on clearance like five bucks. And then like the Amiibos were on clearance for a dollar. So I'd literally go in, spend 10 bucks and buying like Amiibos and a copy of Mario Kart and the Wii. I'd go to EB Games, trade in for like 70, use that to buy packs. Hey, and then the racket. off I go. I did that every week for like two we- two months. No, I, so I, the packs I used to buy, premium gold. Ah, yep. so... It was looking really positive for your net gains until <laughs> until the set, set you decided to go yeah. in on. It got even worse at, when at Premium time, Gold 3 dropped. When Premium Gold 3 dropped, I was like, I need all of these cards. Which was Premium Gold 2 then? Return of the Blink? Yeah. Which did that have in it? Uh, no, we didn't get Return of the Blink for ages. Until that had um, that. DM. Return of the Blink was 2015. Yeah. What was the other... No, I swear Return of the Bling, they didn't give it the shit name until later. Oh, was that Return of the Bling was three? Yeah, I think Return of the Bling was three. Okay. They've had so many gold branded packs, it's crazy. Because, like, yeah, there was the original it three. El Dorado and then no, Return Eldor- of the Bling. No, 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 no. Return of the Bling is one of the, the those three original return sets. Was it? Yep. So we had, used to have gold series, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Five was Haunted Mine. Then we had Premium Gold, Premium yes. Gold 2, and I think it's Premium Gold Return of the Bling. Well, Premium Gold 2 I thought was 2015. Yeah, it is. Yes. So I used to buy a bunch of Premium Gold 2, and then when Premium Gold 3 dropped, I was like, you mean Max C's in here? You mean Dark Destroy is in here? Oh, I'd bye, 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 so bye. Oh, Backjack was, was in Premium Gold 2. That was probably the best yeah. card in the set. <laughs> Wasn't there also Beatrice? Beatrice was in 3. Beatrice, Beatrice was in three. released. Oh, yeah, Beatrice was ages, Beatrice yeah. Beatrice released in 3. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Because um, I had the rare for Anyway, uh, how did we get from Jesse and Seb's birthday to this? By the record, for the record, I'm banned from that. I was banned from that came out at one point. Huh. Subscribe to the Patreon to find out why. Yeah. Ben, how was your week? Uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! was a little disappointing. I only won every game. Yeah. <laughs> I only won both locals. Why wasn't there a third for me to win? You are on Fiendsmith, right? Yep. Yeah. Of course he is. Fiendsmith Snake Eyes. Um, I played, like, my own build on Tuesday. I had one, and I was like, yeah, cool, let's change it. Um, so today I played the build with the rabbit. Mm. Uh, very lucky I played the rabbit. I probably would have lost to Andrew if I didn't play the rabbit. Um, so, like, my opening hand was love it. a brick. Um, it was two engraver, tracked, hand trap, hand trap. Um, 
so the being able to fuse with the hand was pretty fucking huge. Um, especially, so he asked to track, and that was his own hand trap, and I was like, I win! Yay! <laughs> wow. Um, Wait, did you go first against Andrew? Yeah, I won. Wow, well, that's huge, though. So. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Overall, I won a lot of games. I don't remember how I won a lot of them. On Tuesday night, um, <laughs> Rise to Full Height put in a lot of work. Um, it won me two matches, Rise to Full Height. So, I take that. I take that. Um, then, at Locals today, um, my pools were just as bad as Jake's. So, we'll cover to Jake's Locals. Yes, uh, my week. So, Tuesday, um, after uh, toiling away for what must be at least two weeks, putting together a deck that I was very fond to try. Um, it was a bit of a passion project. Um, the reason I was keeping it secret is because eventually there's going to be a profile. That won't be happening. Aww, uh, profile anyway? Is, I, no. I watched I, Jake I play refused, two matches. I refuse to put that out into the world. And, like, no. I watched Jake at play two matches. At best, you can have yes. a TikTok of it saying that it's garbage. But you could get it up on MCOL 40. D- no. So, I watched Jake play two matches. I did not see him play a card. We interrupt Jake's week to <laughs> go back to Ben's week of watching Jake. I just wanted to say that I saw him play two matches yeah, and Jake's I didn't week? see him play a, a card in those two matches. So, what I was playing on Tuesday and will never play again was Melodious Agents. Aww. The theory behind the deck is that Ostinato is a one-card starter. Did I see Ostinato? Not oh, a yeah, fucking chance! <laughs> I was like, yeah, you just don't have to open the Ostinato there. All I opened... Was fucking shine balls, <laughs> and that's it. Well, that's all I opened. Drove me insane. Well, should... I knew that it was a possibility. Okay, I knew it was a possibility going in that opening shine ball, like one or two every couple of hands, was a thing that could happen. It worked out in such a way that I opened so many of the shine balls and the garnets that I'd open like a one card hand hmm. in Play a boss. super no. The, the Brosp is not the problem. Opening just saying four cards. cards that do nothing yeah. is a problem. Also, part of the problem is you can't run Prosp because you run through about 15 cards yeah. of your extra deck through yeah. the combo. Are we playing yeah. 40 cards? 42. Oh. Hmm. See, you're, you're running into the small problem of you have to play uh, low card count so that you see the one card combo. But you're playing a fuckload of bricks. <laughs> Yeah, so, maybe so the theory it. of... Well, that's the thing. The theory was to bump it. I'm even been playing 44 because I'd added um, the Herald of Orange Lights. So I'm like, this seems free. I didn't open those either. So anyway, that deck got put into the deck box, which will then get put into the folder, which will then get put in the bin, games which will then get put in the fire. How many games have you played? Because if, you're seeing, if you've seen... Sh- Three. Two. I feel like you should give the... Technically, you just play one game. Shouldn't you give him more chances though? Because no. like, if, if you've seen Sean no. ball every hand, no, no. that's no. super unlucky. No. You're gonna no, 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 no. Because if it happens to me again, people will die. But that's okay. It just depends on who the people are. Anyway, as I said, uh, deck <laughs> goes Wait, to when? play it on Tuesday. I'll come deck Tuesday. goes into box, goes into binder, goes into beaten, goes into fire. Never again. Then I put back to element today, and everything was fine. Uh, first team first. First team first. He was playing Snake Eyes. I'd already written that match off. Didn't give a fuck. Um, He's not playing hand traps. It was just an auto win. <laughs> I won die roll and was like game over. That's the thing. If I can put shit on the board, like you don't interact that much with the graveyard. It's just I didn't have any way to put any shit in the graveyard. So I didn't want to tell Jake what my hand was. I had bestials in my hand. <laughs> Both games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um... And then, yeah, I think overall today I went X2, but one of those was a buy. Um, that was what? And then I burst the FDK in the last round. And again, no hand traps. You got dunked on. And Taylor. also, he had the fucking field spell, so it wouldn't matter if I had hand traps. Impubs still works. Except for specifically bestials or impubs. Yeah. It's fun playing bestials and impubs. Yeah. That happened when Andrew was trying to FDK me. He, like, I committed a lot of resources to out of the field spell. And then he's like, activate the thrust. No, sorry, around the other way. He was, it was game two. He was going first. Um, I asked his searcher uh, that he's like, uh, Imperm... No, he activated Terraforming, I ash it. Because I didn't want to get the field spell. 
Mm -hmm. So he goes... Uh, see we're back on Ben's week. Yeah. So he goes, Talents, look at my hand. And I'm like, uh, well, you see, sir, I have two starters and two hand traps. Uh, you have two cards in hand. What do you choose? <laughs> he pulled back the nib and then I best you'll lose grave and then he passed. Should have taken the draw. This does bring up a good point, though, um, circling back to your uh, week part three. Uh, this format is part objectively four. dog shit. It's fantastic. No, it is actually awful. Because you have to play a six hundred dollar engine to compete, or Just play, play an SDK. Valmonica can. Bestials every now and then. Both. It can win a game. That's okay. Bestials are great. Bestials only stop the Fiendsmith portion, or maybe the IP. And also, you Just still have to puppets. open them. I will refuse to play those until the day I die. Aww. Play the non FTK version. You brick with There is no not though. FTK version. What does it do if it doesn't FTK? Steals a couple of monsters. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. No. Boring. Still, still and thriller. Boring and gross. Um, also, um, like me, because Caleb hasn't played two elements before. He stole my roof loss and then refused to use its effect to negate my summons, because obviously he wanted to keep it off the board. <laughs> it was so free. I'm confused. Was he scared that when it went go to grave, then it would trigger? Come back your wood. I'm assuming so. Or he just didn't know that that's what it did. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, and now then, he yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Next week I'll have Bistials. Um Yeah, and then still can't play Master Duel. I think the computer is kaput. Uh, so I'll probably get it on Game Boy for the meantime until I get a new computer. We shall see. Why haven't I tried that before? That'd be great. Yeah, well, put be it on good. Switch. And put it on Game Boy. Game Boy to me. Like, I don't know why they'd ever get rid of that nameplate. He's, to be fair, I still play Yu Gi Oh! my Game Boy. Defaulted to pa I, my parents. Oh, you got your Game Boy? It's a PS2, Mum! But in actual in actuality, why would they ever get rid of that nameplate? Call it the Game Boy Switch if you have to. Sexist. Switch 2 is going to be the Switch Game Boy. Nah, I'm not. And there'll be I'm a pink one, it's called Game Girl. There'll be a grey one, just called Game. If I offended anyone there, I apologise. I didn't know how to finish that joke. Yeah, that's, that's what I was, that's what I was <laughs> yeah. way clear of. Game, a uh, very successful store. <laughs> I bought you get custom there at one point. Same. Wasn't, didn't Game used to host an Aurelian regional? Goals, yeah. goals regional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a Game regional. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we used to go to Game for a little while. Yeah, Coles regional. For like a month and a half, we went there for their locals. Those were the days. I remember being invited to that and being like, <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. Meanwhile, I'm going to drive down to Nara. Yeah. No, wrong. I mean, Nara's free wins at the time. This was like 2019. That was fun while we were Can't believe we're not going to Nara like, while the were, highway's so much better. You were going to game because you were trying to grind OTS packs and Nara wasn't getting OTS packs. There was something in the OTS packs everyone wanted. Was there anything in the uh, OTS packs you guys yeah. wanted? <laughs> yeah. We forgot to mention that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I was feeling deep, deep hatred for uh, life and everything in it. He was so mad. Until uh, ulties uh, came about. There were four of them pulled at today's locals. Making uh, five in total out of the box. Two Exodia heads, uh, one Diviner and the Ash. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I got the Exodia head, he got the Diviner. No, no, you got the Diviner. I got the Exodia head. Mm. No. We, we put, can. I can go and open my binder right now. Put, There's an Exodia head in the there. We trading in trading card game, and we swapped. Yes, we did swapsies. Because oh, he wanted just... head, and I wanted Diviner. I wasn't sure which the angle he was going there for. I never but... wanted head. Hmm. That's right. You got head now. Yeah, but I got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Moving on to news. We have the day Check one uh, breakdown of decks from the WCQ in Berlin. Mm. So. Uh, Unsurprisingly, the highest representation is Fingsmith Snake Eyes at 24%. Uh, Only 24% out of 2,000 players. Yeah, about 2,100-ish yeah. 2, players. They don't get OTS champs in North America, do they? Do they? Yeah, they do. They were the first ones it was announced for. I thought they had regionals announced. Uh, they get a lot more regionals. So that's know. 500 decks, that's 1,500 like, that's fifteen hundred engravers in that room. Yep. Sure, that's all the engravers in Europe. Also, that's just accounting for the Snake Eyes. Yeah. There's other decks. Oh yeah, the U Bell well. Smith. Yes, uh, Tempai Dragon at ten percent. There's probably not engravers in there, although there could be. Tempai engraver. There could I be. I mean, I mean, you, you could just 
cut your tempi engine, put engraver in, and you end up on the same shit anyway. I mean, if you did, if you did that first, that engine first, mm. if you made to go first, you just set up a double negate. Yeah. Or you can Beatrice send a. Yeah. If you only have green dragon, you can Beatrice send another dragon, normal summon the green dragon, bring it back. We're solving snake. Uh, not snake eyes. That's well, you're going to uh, the other one. <laughs> yep. Uh, next down is <laughs> Fiendsmith Ubel at 9%. Uh, Why so do we there's... make level 6 splashable monsters? Uh, with no Beatrice. Man. I don't know. And then the counter to that level 6 engine is also level 6. <laughs> mm. You can make your own Beatrice. Uh, next down at 6 is Runic. Probably not any uh, Schmitz on Runic. Smith in there. Although there could be. Fiendsmith Runic. You can... Uh, yeah, that works. Now, all the Rudy plays are going to be the people that haven't bought cards in the last 24 months. You can Beatrice send a quick play spell, and then when you resolve, that you get an extra draw. That sounds awful. That sounds fucking awful. Uh, next down at 3% is Ritual Beast. Yeah, yeah. Props to them, because I had the aspirations to play that deck. Watched replays, had no idea what was happening at any point. That's, and that's Ritual Beasts. Harry told me he bought all of Ritual Beasts, and I was like, hmm, probably should have told you that I have at least three cores. But it's the main thing that costs money, the new uh, level the, one. The Lara? Yeah. Yeah, uh, also Old Elder is a lot of money. Yes. Apparently you pay like 30 bucks each on the Elders. 20 or 30. I was like, fuck. We should sell those. Wait, I is have... that we or you? Uh, I have a bunch, and we have a bunch. Yes, we should sell those. Uh, I don't want it. So many. That pack just keeps just paying, doesn't it? I, I open. <laughs> Except if you have any Gen X's. Yes. <laughs> I have no half shit. a case of that set sitting inside. Yeah. Uh, next down, also a 3% branded. Unsurprising. Puppet is still available. Apparently you can yeah. puppet lock with just the Feedsmith card. Shocking. I saw a meme today of like someone that had been... They were playing branded puppet lock and they got puppet locked. And it was at me like, how could you do this to me? This is my thing. Uh, next down at 2%, Memento. Uh, an up and comer in the the meta, I guess yeah. you could say. I don't know uh, how Harry can finished also run Fiendsmith. Harry was on Memento, I don't know how it went. Uh, he, he messaged me quite mad a little bit in, but he then beat Gimmick Puppet, so it will look like he beat Gimmick Puppet. It's a very complicated deck, yeah. to be fair. It takes a little while to work out what the optimal lines are. It's just five negates. Just five negates. <laughs> just five. Well, and a 5,000 attack point monster. And a fusion that well, I think can pop stuff off turn. Droplet? Does it solve that problem? No, because it's not the monster that gives him the gates. It's Aww. the back row. Anyway. And then 43% other. Yeah. It's quite a big... That's an uh, Australia YCS representation of other. Oh, okay. I was like, 40? Eh? <laughs> yeah. It, we, we, we like the others. Yeah. yeah. I like Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes Fiendsmith is great. Yeah. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. Anytime you think you've bricked, simply, you haven't. Yeah. It's... There's, there's simply no way it survives, so... Have I Enjoy fucked it. up three times? Yes. Does it matter? No! <laughs> against Ethan at some point. I think it was against Ethan game one, he hit me with three different hand traps and I was like, oh no, I pass. Anyway, I use my two hand traps. Anyway, you're dead now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you need three hand traps to stop one card. Hmm. It simply cannot continue. Well, so here we go. It'll keep cranking along. Until they late August. They, yeah, well, even late August, like, I don't see how they nuke it. Like, they have to go, like, full ban multiple. Yes. Which they won't. They'll just do... Because? They'll do taps going, this will this will destroy it. And it'll hit the consistency. I don't think... In a deck that could just run 50 cards and still be consistent. I don't think they can afford to do that. Yeah, they can. It's only... What, what, There's only fall over there. They'll have... They don't care about those tournaments. They'll reassess in September. September. November. The fact that they've even bothered to delay the ban list means that they know that it's a problem. It just means they're going to hit Snake Eyes even well, I think they wanted the summer off. I don't know. A lot of seasonal talk. And also, they, they clearly haven't had the summer off because they've got the, all of the WCQ events. Huh? So people are mean? working. Jerome's done. Yeah. We, you know, they they, they, they packed it up two weeks ago. 
Trump's yeah. always on holidays, man. Where do you reckon they he goes? They prop him up on in front of a screen every three months to tell us about the new set. Whack him in a hideous he tie. So he and goes then to wherever makes that tie. He goes there to buy another tie. You reckon when he's <laughs> <laughs> poolside in Thailand, he's just on a day bed. It was tie. too easy. <laughs> it was too easy. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on to some news. Uh, um, hmm? Was there anything else from... Uh, nah, it's all good. We'll uh, Mimi oh, got featured we'll on stream. Yeah, oh, I watched the actually, first turn yeah. and he didn't really do that much and I was like, to bed I go. Yeah, that's the point at which I fell asleep because I was re-watching and I saw it and yeah. then I fell asleep. And then I re-watched it this morning and I like tried to skip past it and on Twitch it's very hard to like just yeah. like skip a certain amount. You just sort of Did skip random body? chunks. And then I looked at the board I was like, holy shit, he had so much going for him. Oh, the, very little of it was Mimigul. Huh. For, like, because um, I think Fiend I caught it. Mimigul, I think. No, no, no. It's not Fiendsmith. It's um, Vancrasol. Vancrasol. Uh, oh, that's, it. that's the map. Okay. I, now, good. All right. I know this exact point because I looked over the guy going, what the hell's going on here? I'm not paying attention to this. I'm going to watch fencing. In <laughs> fairness, because I think it was between rounds. Oh, excuse me. Between rounds two and three. Um, they were talking about like how much of the Mimigul engine was actually helping. There's like fuck all Mimigul's in there. It's like one of each monster and the field spell. That's so, pretty much I'm it. I'm assuming he's just playing that to try and lock his opponent from normal summoning Sneak Eyes Ash. I think that's the idea. Yeah. And I mean, he won that feature match, so... Good on in, in some capacity it worked. Maybe there's a Mimigul in day two. Oh, that'd be so good. Like, fucking 23 Snake. <laughs> I've reached out of frame, uh, like 23 Snake Eyes, Fiend Smith, and then all the other stuff. I did this, it's fine. It's a very straight arm. It wasn't. And even if it is, it's still this. It's in the safe <laughs> angle, Ben. I'm seeing the diagram. <laughs> I was side on. That was not the safe angle. Anyway. Anyway, I do hope that there's some interesting stuff in the top... Is it 64 or 32? It'd be 64. 64. They were all 64. Yes. It's a universal WCQ yeah, thing now yeah, where they yeah. will all be 64. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope that there's some interesting stuff in the top 64. Yep. Yeah. Also, I hope there's a lot of shifter decks so that that can also fucking up off in August. All 64 with less invites. Thanks, you. Makes, mm. no, makes no sense. Yeah, we'll makes, see. Makes no sense. Anyway, to news. Uh, so, Master Duel has announced a ban list coming into effect as of July 29th, so only a couple of days. Uh, so, coming to one, Heavy Storm. Storm? Storm. Yeah. We will we get it in here? Maybe. Well, I'll run it. Maybe. Do I need two Harvey Destroy Destroyer and Flame Bush in the back row. But you also destroyed your own field spells, so stuff's not going good for you. <laughs> And they're no longer on the li uh, the limited list because I think it was limited. Snatch deal. Didn't we get two ban lists this week? Yeah, really we did. The fucking joke, you motherfucker! Stupid fuck! I got really, really confused limited. when the second ban list got dropped. I was like, "There's like two days." Well, because one of them's like for pa like for the packs, right? Because those cards are featured in the next pack. Yes, the new pack which has the uh, Master Magia in it mm. also has ah. this stuff in it. And some other random shit. The wagon. And the other ban list is a proper ban list. Yes. Yeah. Proper is a stretch. Speaking of which, uh, ban list part two. Uh, Forbidden, Gimmick Puppet Nightmare, and Ido the Supreme Magical Force, both of the uh, branded lock targets that people usually go for, of which there are many available, so, you There's know. More. Yeah, I don't know why you keep... Also, why you bother, like... Just nuke yeah. branded... It's already hit quite a lot in that Yeah, thing. Well, Just I, nuke I'd... the rest of the deck. Or... I'll just hit Puppet and move on. Ban Branded Fusion. That's fine. <laughs> like, just shoot the deck Maybe. Out. Maybe Ban Branded Fusion. You're worried about Branded Fusion no, when you're what? playing Fiendsmith Snake Eye. I'm not, even, yeah. not even playing yeah. Master Duel. Because it was the year 2024. Um, branded is whatever year. Yeah. I don't know. Branded Fusion maybe should be banned so people stop putting in other decks. I did watch... By other decks, do you mean specifically Voiceless Voice? Dark Vision. I did watch a, uh, no doing that. a very interesting video the other Doesn't day. Doesn't pay attention to Loss's comments. <laughs> I've been watching him. Ah. He's not. Anyway, you've been... I did watch a very interesting video the other day that talked about the banlist theory behind the OCG and Master Banlists. Uh, and 
it essentially just went into the fact that there's a lot of people in the OCG that like refuse to change decks. They will take a deck, if they like the deck, they will just relentlessly play it. Hence the reason why Konami OCG never fully bans things, be it in Master Duel or in real life, because they're worried if they ban them, those players will just go, well, I'm just not playing anymore. So like, there'll be people showing up playing like the fragments of whatever's left of like a deck that's been limited on all the main cards just because they like that deck. I appreciate the dedication. I feel like that's a, a almost a worldwide thing for uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Um, but how many people do you reckon it is in the player base? Because like we're like we're but all flexible. Apparently, it's a lot. Yeah, I couldn't never imagine being a one deck person. Uh, I like the flexibility. Maybe I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fuckboy. <laughs> Sometimes. Please, please never use that term again. <laughs> it's kind of contradictory, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, I can't remember the um, term for that. Uh, no. Don't say any Ad- slurs now. Advanced English has failed me. Anyway, um, no longer on the uh, Master Duel ban list. Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Trishula Don't Dragon of the Ice Baron. Wagon? No, no, that's a good. good. <laughs> well, it's unbanned. Uh, that's what I said. Trisha Lard, Dragon of the Ice Baron, uh, Divine Arsenal, Sky Thunder, Zeus. To three. Inferno hey. Launcher and Sekka's Light. I want Launcher back to three here. Give us Launcher to three. Is it not? It's the last card still limited from that deck. No. Do you care that much? I just think it's a or, cool deck. Or would you just put it with Fiendsmith and make yeah. the same fucking <laughs> that's, that's where this is going. <laughs> Make so fucking boring. <laughs> Any of those light fiends? Not the top of my head. I don't think so. I think it was, I think light fiend was be above uh, beyond their time. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Cool, so three so. counter traps played fucking fusion making up a loser. Watch, watch. Speaking watch, of watch. which, that bitch is almost certainly gone too. Appaloosa. Yeah. I'll take Appaloosa. What if they don't hit snake eyes? They just hit like Appaloosa IP. Which I'm probably surprised. isn't going to happen because they both just got reprinted and they need at least another three months of selling that shit. I like IP. I don't know I if need they I- do. God, I hope they don't hit IP. Yeah. I got a, uh, a Quartzy's change of heart today. How? The shop down the road from Good Games. I went in there to buy a binder and they had the like Quartzy change of heart in the cabinet. I was like, can I get this please? He was like, no problem. My binder was $70 and the... Uh, change of heart was 45. He was like, I'll do them both for 100. Whoa! Like, Thank you. I like you. He's a nice Huge. Guy. Yeah. Oh. Is it different? Is it a different person or something? No, it's the normal guy. Oh, okay. Any aliens in there yet? Uh, no. But there was like, weirdly, two Eshe kids that were like desperate to try and finish a Pokemon Master set. And I was like, this is interesting. Yeah, he hits a. He hits a a weird crowd in there. Mm. Like, not the people you'd expect to be playing guard games all go in there to, like, buy and trade and stuff. Maybe they are aliens. Maybe. <laughs> it's like men in black. We're on to you. So, uh, moving on, we have some news about the uh, events that are going to be happening around uh, the WCS for this year. Um, so, it's not really confirmed what regions uh, this is happening for. As far as this is dictating, it seems to just be happening in the US and maybe the EU. The Platinum? There's a few different things. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the uh, Stainless Steel Dark Magician Girl uh, being released. That is uh, Central America, North America, and Europe. Yep. Uh, so, that's releasing at 149, I'm assuming US. It's currently very controversial as to how many they're actually made. They, they say one of 5,000, but they were still available for sale. Hmm. It's... So they've fallen for this trap again. Yes. So they burnt their bridge on the Blue Eyes. If they hadn't done a second run of the Blue yeah. Eyes, people probably would have bought these. This is also on the 150 bucks. The Blue Eyes was significantly more expensive. Yes. Especially to those that uh, sold it and then... <laughs> How do you buy these? Um, we you had to buy, buy it through, through the EU website. website. So oh. they had like three approved distributors for it. Huh. Yeah. Uh, also, we get some uh, promotional items for the 2013 uh, World's Card, Grandopolis, the Eternal Golden City, 
uh, which is the turtle with the big city on the back. The turtle. Uh, so there's a deck box. Turtle. No, sorry, a sleeve and a map. Is it last to it? Or in no, 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 real life. Turtle. You buy. Oh, can I buy this? I think so. Yeah. How much is it? Uh, sleeves are nine ninety nine US. Where do I buy um, this from? And the mat is seventeen. So currently, again, this has only been announced for certain regions. Fuck. So it depends if we get it. I genuinely want these. These are these are big ones for me. Well, they're purchases, so you can just buy them. I from... want the turtle. Sure, there'll be some lying around in Japan. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Um, turtle. And then um, they've also announced a bit more information about the tins that are coming out. Um, so the tin dueling mirrors. Um, what the fuck? Nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Live TikToks. Um, so, uh, it's containing a new artwork for Dark Magician Girl and Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yes. Um, as well as, obviously, the alt art cards that we knew about. Tuning, Limited Removal, Rageki, Harpy's Feather Duster. Um, and then, I think further down, it gave us the breakdown again of what we're getting in it. I think, so, I think they said, like, the is the Legacy card pool a new announcement? No. Okay. It's like 40 Legacy cards in Quartzy? Uh, sure. I'll take it. I thought they were all meant to be quartzy. I thought all that whole second. Is there only a 40 card pool? I thought it was bigger. Uh, I thought it was like 200 and blew the set out to like 500 it, cards. Uh, hang on, here we go. Uh, 50 different quarter century rares. Um, It'd be those. It's those. It's fine. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah it's a 400 it card set total. Yeah. So, 350 from normal pool and then yeah. 50 oh okay parts. so it's yeah so it's not a huge yeah gotcha 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 assuming that's the breakdown but anyway, anyway i hope they're good uh, so what's uh the breakdown for them is uh per tin with your three packs you're getting 24 commons nine ultras three prismatic secrets and three quarter century res okay three quarter century res i'm assuming will always be from that pool of 50 yeah, it won't be from... Oh yeah, so they won't quarter century rare anything from the previous sets because obviously that would contradict True. that. Yes. Yep, so the quarter century rare seem to be specifically for the retro card slash old. So cards. three from 50. Yeah, I like that. I, I lo Yeah, and then the rest... Ooh, actually, I really like that. That's that's just no different than trying to get different tin promos. It's almost like the Nib uh, we're back to the Nibiru style, except, mm. you know... Those were the days. Oh god! Yeah, Those I, were the days. I still prefer the Hanzo tin, but we'll take this. I have so many tin Hanzos. We'll take this. Uh, then we had a bunch of new cards announced from the t uh, the Rage of Abyss, I should say. Um, so we have the oh. newest of the Charmers, uh, Area oh. the Water cha Channeler. Yeah. Um, always treated as a Charmer. Mm. Um, so it's only just occurred to me because, like, obviously no one's ever used these cards, so no one's ever read them. Um, they each search based on a different yes. stat line. I didn't realise this. I just assumed that they all kind of did the same thing. I think there was um, a time when you played wind in something. Yeah, but who cares? Yeah. Um, so, this one, discard it and a water monster. Add a water monster from your deck to your hand with a level equal to or higher than the other discarded monsters. Really and like then that. the usual water lock. Um, for the rest of the turn as well, so you can do other stuff. Yeah. Um, Great And card. then, um, if a water monster is destroyed by battle, summon it from your hand, that's never triggering. Um, yeah, I'd say... On balance, this is probably the best one. Okay. I mean, the fact that there's a whole bunch of water monsters that like being discarded as cost is also very helpful. I mean, yeah, even excluding that, just the, like, less restrictive search terms, like equal or higher than the one you discard, like, that's... So when are we going to get the fire one, then? We have the fire one. That does this? Yeah. Exactly that. Wait, discard a fire and search for a fire? Yeah. We've had that for a while. Have we? I guess I don't like it because it's not staying on water. <laughs> yeah. Water's good. Jake still uses the old Yu Gi Oh! Prices app that hasn't updated in months. Do we have. Um, there it is. Do you have a dark one? No. Dark and light. Yes. They don't uh, get non links. Yeah. yeah. I think those are the only ones that don't exist yet. Dark and light. Although they'd have to make those. Oh, well, at least the dark one. They'd have to make very restrictive. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, so the fine one. Um, yeah, it would have been in. Add a fire monster from your deck to your hand oh, with higher attack. Uh, Duel's Nexus. Had a so we get, century we get one printing. a year. I mean, so it makes sense that this was in the year of fire. Mm. Yep. Cool. Now that she has arrived, it is signified the year of water. So Although, now we're going to get a crazy water Promethean that will completely make this irrelevant. Oh, please. 
Please. <laughs> Water wench. Please. <laughs> Water wench. Isn't Princess getting its own story mode in Master Little? I mean, whatever story you can tell. Yeah, there's not much of a story to tell. With Maybe they announce other ones. They announced it in the lore, lore story the other day. It was basically, uh, there's legends of a curse that uh, gives you powers of fire but makes you grotesque. That was it. <laughs> if that's grotesque, the standards are... <laughs> Their standards are grotesque. <laughs> um, speaking of water support, we get a uh, fire slash water support card in Surging Clash of Blazing Seas on Blazing Seas. Um, oh, yes. So this is the Fire King slash Mermail support card. Uh, so activate one of these effects, discard a water monster to the graveyard, then target one face up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Um, it is a normal spell card, should highlight that. Uh, destroy one fire monster in your hand, then you can draw one card. Uh, if your opponent only controls a monster... Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's effect one, so you choose one or the other. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one level seven or eight water or fire monster in your graveyard and special summon it. It's just good so good. Yeah. Arguably better for fire than it is for water. Yeah. <laughs> you mean I can pop and then summon back? This, surely this will take place of whatever the fire decks get whittled down to in a few months. Yeah. That this will weeks. have to be slid then. A few weeks. Months. <laughs> weeks. Nah, uh, they're not hitting Snake Eyes. They, they fucking are. Oh, they hit everything else. Yeah. Leave it. I don't think If so. they hit Savage Dragon, Appaloosa is fucked. Yeah, Appaloosa is going to go eventually. I, I think Appaloosa is going to get banned this year. I don't think this list, next list, yes. Hmm. Well, I saw a sad thing the other day. Like, the market price of OG Baron is now, like, 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The fall from grace. Yes, this is worse than Dark Destroyer. Um, I was tempted um, to try and pick hilarious. up some of the quarter century rares of like the Barone and the Savage, just on the off chance that when Snake Eyes dies, because it will, that all of those cards will start to come back. Well, I'll leave them banned. Makes the game more interesting. Oh yeah, the game is super interesting at the moment. It's incredibly interesting. No. Savage probably shouldn't come back, it's so easy. Anyway, anyway. Uh, also in Rage of Abyss, we have two new support cards for Centurion. Uh, so they get a level four Dark Pyro. Um, its effect on field basically, if they, if your opponent activates anything, is chain link to a higher, um, changes its effect to place a Centurion uh, from your field or grave back into the spell and trap zone. So if your opponent responds to your activation of a card, yeah, basically you summon okay. them all out, chain link, chain, chain three the field spell. You try and pop the field spell. They're like, no, no. I'm just going to get more resources. And then, well, it's putting one back. I thought it puts it from deck to the back row. Uh, I'll double check, but... Uh, I'm just going off, just listening to the into the back row, and I was like, how can they no, get the most value? Field or graveyard? Okay. Graveyard still. So it's not completely free. Yeah. Uh, and then during the main phase, if it's a continual trap summon it. So that's all it really does is just interruption for the interruption. Uh, it's good. I like it. Um, more importantly, they do get a level 8. Uh, so this one, if a card is, if this card is synchro summoned, add a emblema card, which is I think on most of their good spell and trap, um, from your deck to your grave, and then destroy one card your opponent controls and one card you control. Um, this special summon card cannot be destroyed by battle unless it was summoned from the extra deck. And then if a face-up centurion leaves a field by an opponent's card effect, special summon it from the graveyard. It is a level eight tuner synchro. Okay, it's fine enough. Uh, Kurt, who is an avid fan of the deck, was very excited for these two cards. He still thinks he's going to have Calamity. <laughs> yeah, that also needs to go. We continue. We're not banlist talk. We don't uh, talk banlists. Banlists is ages. Uh, I'm going to be mentioning these passively for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so, Val Monica also gets their one support card. I called it last oh. week. You did. Did you call it being garbage? Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it's it's a tidying. Not, it's actually... It's not... It, it, I don't like it. It's not what the deck needed, but... It's and, lazy support. Just yeah. whacking a counter trap on a deck is a signifier that they don't care. Like, if you've already got the other trap and everything else you need, it isn't the worst card to have in a deck as to go, oh, it's, a, it's an extra in a game. But it is not what it needed. Uh, so, yeah. Spell trap monster effect activated while you control a Valmonica link monster. And again, destroy. Banish this card from your graveyard. Shuffle Val Valmonica cards from your banished face up extra deck into the deck up to the number of resonance counters on your field mm. and then you draw one for every three cards shuffled yeah feels bad 
for the resonance, but um, the best thing about this card, I said it in the chat, is in the artwork there is a monster that we haven't seen. So therefore, more support for Although Brian. It doesn't seem to be getting that card in Rage of Abyss because they announced yeah. the dregs of that the other day. Yeah, <laughs> it's, we're completely out. So whoever that random person is, and if anyone thinks that is Celestris in the portal, you're insane. No, they're not wearing a dress. It looks like a backpack and a hat. It looks like a musketeer almost. It's out of focus though, so I am very much it's an reaching. adventure card. Oh my god, kind of does, doesn't it? Hey, doesn't Enchantress work with the other thing? Can you channel and discard a frog search Enchantress? Maybe I don't know. No idea what you're talking about. Anyway, Terminal World Two has been announced for the OCG. Um, so. Uh, this one they haven't hinted at as many of the archetypes that are going to be supported. The one, or the two that they have said are Fabled and Jurak. Yeah, so the rest of the dual terminal stuff. Is there not more? From that one? Not from yeah, any that was shit though. Oh, because like, was Evolso after Jurak? Weren't they? We're getting Necro support. And finally, That's the Necro trap. The trap! <laughs> That's where this. So all going to culminate in a Necro's Trap. Um, and then Yu-Gi-Oh ends. So there will be four themes, they have confirmed. There will be four themes supported, of which only two have been actually noted. Necro's and Shadol were in the same lore, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's just weird that, like, they different sets and... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But even looking at the Terminal World 1, those were all from different sections. Well, I thought they were all in the same universe. They're all in the same universe, but they're different timelines. What's, oh, it, yeah, yeah. what's the countdown to DUEA's release? Uh, three weeks. It's three weeks from the release of DUEA. Hmm. What event is that? Jewel Swans. The start of Shadows. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah sorry. Then like we get a 10 year flashback. We're all going oh, to time we travel. Have to, yeah, did we have to build shit yeah. for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got till, we got till November to run it. And then YCS 2015 3. No, 2014 3. So much thinking. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see what uh, support gets announced for those because um, Fable Lurie might not get banned in order to keep <laughs> the actual Fable cards oh, coming. Fable Lurie wasn't even thought of. It was like Raven and everything else. Yeah, true. Anyway, moving on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, our first question this week comes to us from a uh, new member of the Discord, Great Wave. Hi, Great Wave. <laughs> <laughs> Those were shit waves. <laughs> I always wave to our new Discord people. We're going to give a Great Wave, though. Yeah, Great Wave for Great Wave. Treat everyone equally in our Discord. By that I mean I barely respond to them because I <laughs> get so many Discord notifications that I just kind of don't. Yeah, but most of them are from a bot, so you can find fucking hundos. Hey, how dare you make accusations <laughs> about me? <laughs> I have photographic evidence of such. Anyway, uh, Great Wave's question is, what are your thoughts on Konami releasing old structure decks like Realm of Light, and do you think they will move on to some other structures? I like it. They've already been doing it for a while. We need to keep doing it. Yes. They redid the Blue Eyes one, they redid on this one. I think there was another one they redid in there. I think they announced the Blue Eyes one before we'd even known there was like good Blue Eyes support wait, wait, coming, we, right? They redid the Dino one, but then they, yeah, didn't, they didn't do the Ancient Gear one because that has Maxi in it, and they were like, mm, no. We're this. talking about flat reprints, not the retrains, yeah? The, yeah, straight yeah, reprints yeah, yeah. of the Star Trek. Straight decks. reprints, yeah. Roll of Light, two. Mm. Actually, Mermel was a structure deck, wasn't it? No, Atlanteans were. Yeah. Uh, sure. I mean, they're going to need to do that if all this Mermail support well, is coming out. I mean, the original one didn't have any Mermails in them. You had to... You, you buy yeah, three structure decks, take the Atlanteans out, the rest... Yeah, but you know, you need Dragoons. And Dragoon hasn't been reprinted in a long, long time. Goons? It's an actual pack super. <laughs> Dragooning cave. No, it was the astral pack ulti. Where's the super Why from? Why have you done that? From that structure. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I think it's really solid. I wish they did it more, to be honest. Uh, what I want to see is more, like, main set reprints. Like, they redid the other... 
Yeah, they don't do that often enough. Like, they did it with Power of the Elements, which was the most recent one, and that didn't matter because they killed the deck that people old, wanted it for. I'm talking old reprint sets. Like, they're reprinting the Light of Destruction. I think it comes out, like, next week. Mm. We're getting... I want old, old set reprints. Like, just randomly fucking drop us reprints. Why not? Whatever Merms came in originally, reprint that set. Wasn't that set really hard to actually pull them because, like, they're all wasn't it like a gladi Gladiator's Assault type deal? Nah, I wasn't playing at that time. No, I thought it was. Didn't it get its own? Well, we'll look. Anyway, next question is from Tuesday's Noob. Uh, after seeing the first results come in, what. What's your ban list wants and your <laughs> reasonable unbanned wishes? We will not be discussing that now. Please tune in in three weeks' time when we are. Uh, we won't be, but we might. Bragg, any thoughts? No. I have so many. I've already started my um, tab of, like, bans, limits, and all that kind of thing. It's, it's big. It's got to be big. But yeah, because Ben doesn't want to acknowledge that his deck is broken, it's probably going to get banned. He doesn't want to talk about it. So, moving on to 6 out 6 questions, uh, of which there are four. Yes. Question number one. What is your favourite style of snack biscuit? Savoury? Rice crackers? Shortbread? Chocolate? Filled? Meat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently at the Ben's moment. Ben's on a diet at the moment. Um, no, it's the those like chocolate topped digestives. Those are a nice staple biscuit, yeah. Those are phenomenal. Any biscuit that has a bit of chocolate topping, great. I am a big fan of uh, chip cookies of different descriptions. So, uh, choc chip, mm. obviously, the staple. Uh, white choc macadamia, also a fucking great biscuit. Like, prepackaged, long shelf life cookies like with chips in them i always find it really shit do you know what the um unironically the only gluten-free food that i would actually go out and buy are the gluten-free coles chocolate chip cookies nice. they fucking slap you're taking them out of the mouths of people that need them good because <laughs> most people that think they're gluten-free aren't actually gluten-free so they shouldn't have them anyway okay mm. Uh, I just eat whatever's on special. It's right. If the gluten-free people come to attack me, they're too weak to do anything. All these home brand cookies used to be phenomenal back in the day. They're like 40% choc chip biscuits. Great. Because the Coles ones are good. The Woolies ones sucked. Yes. yes. Yeah, there was, I remember one of them being shit. I used to so always... Then I just avoided them in general because I'm like, oh, I have no idea which bo box this was. I'm not going to find out. When I was young, the Aldi ones were great and they changed them. And then the Coles ones were good. And now it's been a while since I've gone and bought the... There was a brand that my mum used to buy from Aldi, I think, specifically. I think it was, like, called Cottage Green or something like that. And they made a white chocolate macadamia biscuit in, like, a big pack. And I would eat all of them. Every single one. Like a big mug of milk and dunk and... That is my preferred way to eat How I biscuits. normally eat biscuits. With milk. No, the entire bag at once, because I have oh, an yeah. impulsive thing where if I open a food product, I have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so what my brother used to do as well, because like we weren't supposed to be eating these things, he would open the pack and then turn it around so he could see that the pack had been opened. <laughs> I remember once it got so bad, he'd eaten all the way to the start, where like there was just one biscuit left, and then I think it was my mum had gone to eat them, but there was one biscuit left. Well, no, it would have been funnier. She, she could have lost her shit. It would have been funny if she went, picked him up to open the other end and then just slid out the other end and the last one fell on the floor. Wagon oh. wheels. I really like wagon wheels. I don't mind a wagon wheel every so often. Actually, I don't know if they do the main more because I haven't been looking, but Good Games used to put the occasional one or two in the fridge. Oh. Mm. Oh. I don't agree with that opinion. I love cold biscuits. Uh, mint slices that have been Those in the, the fridge. Only good oh, what, you just hate teeth structure? Yeah. Those are the only good frigible, frigible biscuit. Because that makes the mint cold. <laughs> frigible. Yeah. <laughs> but then it hurts to bite into, and then the mint like slides off the top of the biscuit, and then you've got the rest of the biscuit. I never have this issue. Yeah, these I are also not problems put I them have. On cold... Oh, whatever. I also put them whole into my mouth. Oh, I'll take one more. And then they, they, like, they melt a little bit, and then I bite in. Fantastic. 
I'm going to start getting, stretching my mouth ready for... Mind you, I like chew on chubba tubs, so... My teeth structure is... Note that. We're... Yeah. you got head from this, man. Uh, question number two from 6 r 6 Poor chopper chop. <laughs> Do you have a favourite cryptocurrency? No. Doge! Buy, buy, <laughs> buy Bitcoin. I'm currently invested. I plan to skirt tax laws. Right. That's a thing to say out there. Apparently, it's something I can legally do, so. Yeah, I mean, as long as you don't withdraw it. Exactly. They can't get you. As long as you don't withdraw it and realize that it's in this see... country. I'll never see the $20. You said you were traveling lens this year, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, to a place with even more stringent laws. Yeah. They're probably even doing the currency over there by now. A bunch of places did. Now. Question three. Ethereum. Uh, do you think Lirilusk will get more support? No. Yeah, eventually. Yes. So then, like... It just got support. Yeah. We'll just keep going. What do you mean, just got support? I'm sure they released some fucking wing, wind beast searcher. I don't know. Something. No, that's Flounderies support. All bird support is now Flounderies. They did just get a hand trap. The flappy hand trappy. Looks at that deck. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think Lurillas can search it because they're not level one. Mm. Yeah. By design, I imagine. Yeah, probably. So otherwise you just put a Lurillas engine in like every one of your decks and just search a hand trap. Okay. Then last question from 6R6 and indeed for the podcast. What archetype is the most absurd that you really enjoy playing? Absurd. Combo absurd or just fucking stupid? I think he means like fucking stupid. Fuck, I should have pre read this. I'm, um, I'm blanking. Yeah. Well, mine's Metaphors. That deck has no business being anywhere. Very fun though. I don't consider any decks that I play absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all perfectly <laughs> rational and Jesus Christ. reasonable to play. Why feel would like, I insult any of my decks? I feel like Dark Worlds used to feel like real degenerate. Like you're just making your opponent discard cards that they need. Like they're not getting punished for it because they haven't switched to BA or whatever. And you can just pop Skill Drain and just go, all right, well, Graph is back, Graph is back. Like Skill Drain does not affect me. Cleese a little bit too. My answer probably would have been Rescue Ace if it was asked this time last year. But now, like that deck's good and it's been hit on the ban list. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that absurd anymore. Um, I mean, Unchained was probably in that boat until around that same time period. Yeah. Absurds are... Clarify absurd. Yeah, clarify we'll, absurd we'll... and I'll answer your question. Yeah, and... re-ask this question with the definition. <laughs> Define your absurd. Stupid crazy and combo? We'll, we'll, or... we'll reassess next week. Yes. If there uh, is a next week. If there is, that may be yours coming. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.